Anybody remember <laughs> what I mentioned you need to do with the VC before putting it on the cylinder? So good. Want to get this cam band wet. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. When putting the BC on the cylinder, two things you need to think about with regard to the orientation the BC has on the tank. As far as its left to right orientation, you want to line it up so the valve, where air comes out of it, as if it would hit the back of your head blow drying your hair. So that's the left to right orientation. As far as height, your BC should have somewhat of a rigid back plate. That rigid back plate, just for starters, should line up with the base of the valve. Okay? There's also a handle on your BCs that's going to go over the valve, and that will be somewhat taut as well. That will give you a rough estimate for your height. As you do some dives, if you find out the tank is too high, too low, you can make some subtle adjustments. All right. So there's your orientation, left to right, and height. To put the BC on the tank, watch out for the, the cap. It doesn't get in the way of the, the cam. And you want to slide it down the cylinder. Put the handle over the valve. Give yourself a little more slack if you need it. And down it goes. So the valve's coming out, it would hit the back of my head. The height is such that this handle is a little taut. The rigid back plate is in line with the bottom of the valve, give or take an inch or so. All right? At that point, you're gonna wanna pinch the tank with your knees, pull the cam strap taut through the buckle, Once you get to that point, lift up on the buckle and stop right there until everyone gets to that point. Okay, so pull as much tension as you can through the buckle and then lift up on the buckle and hold it right like this. Everybody there? Just about? When you lift up on this buckle, <coughs> that will lock down this strap and I can let go with this other hand. With this buckle engaged like that, the strap's not going to slide any. It's very important at this point to take the strap, go through the last opening on the buckle. You don't want to just clamp down the buckle thinking you're done. You've got to go through that last opening, and then at that point, you can slap the buckle down. If you miss that last opening, that buckle, if it gets caught on something during the dive, snag and unlock and now your tank slides out.